you guys, I almost freaked out. I thought that this was closed for a second. I accidentally drove past like one of my favorite Goodwill bookshops. It's like a specialty Goodwill bookshop. I saw a construction site and I thought, oh my gosh, if this thing is gone, I will be upset, like legitimately upset. It's not, I just drove past it. So I'm gonna head inside. I actually brought some books to donate. If you guys didn't see, I did do like a Marie Kondo of my book collection and got rid of a ton of books. So that's what's in the back of my car right now. So I'll go ahead and link those videos down below in case you guys are like down for some organization content. And I'm gonna go check out what they have in stock right now and see if they have any good books. Because now that I got rid of a bunch of books that I've either read or I don't plan on reading, I can, I feel good about like, you know, checking out some new books for 2022, aka bringing back books <laughs> into my house. I haven't done a thrift shopping video in a while, and this one's really good because they're like very affordable books since it's Goodwill. Like Goodwill is where I tend to get the books for the best deal. So we'll see if they've got any good books. I'm curious to see if I'm thinking they must be pretty stocked, right? Huh? Logic? We'll find out. Okay, well, I had a pretty major score at that Goodwill. This is a big representation of never judge a book by its cover because when I walked in there, I thought, wow, they don't have a ton of books. I don't think I'm gonna find anything. I think I bought more books from this Goodwill this time around than I have any other time around. I got some really good books I'm so excited about. And all of these books were books that I've been wanting to read, that I've been eyeballing. So none of these books were just kind of like me buying books to buy books, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do a haul when I get home so I can properly show you guys all the books. But I actually found a signed copy of a very popular book, which I'm super stoked about. So I'll show you guys that when I get home and um, I am able to settle myself a little bit because I feel pr very productive and accomplished. I'm actually just excited that they didn't um, close this this location down because I was genuinely concerned that that was actually a thing. Hello! So it is actually another day and I am finally sitting down with you guys and sharing with you what I picked up from Goodwill the other day. I'm so excited about these books. Like I mentioned previously earlier in this video, I feel like I did really well. Like I definitely had books here that I was seriously excited about reading. It wasn't like I was just picking books to buy books, if that makes sense. I will say though, the prices at Goodwill have definitely gone up. If I remember correctly, I thought hardbacks at Goodwill were $2.99 and paperbacks were $1.99. I'll have to go back and look at some of my previous videos, but still, having said that, I bought six books for about $20. Actually, my total was $19 and some change, and then I always just round up because it goes to a good cause, so I gave them 56 cents to round up my nearest dollar. So six books for 20 bucks is really not that bad, and 
I took a bunch of books over there to donate and get rid of because I either read them or wasn't really interested in reading them. So now I've got some more books that I'm excited to read. So now that I've explained all that, I probably over explained it, let's face it. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I bought. So here's my pile and I definitely have a bunch of different types of books in here. So. First things first, I have The Martian by Andy Weir. I have never read this book. I've actually seen the movie. So this is one of the few occasions that I have seen the movie and have not read the book because usually it's the opposite. I usually always, or I usually read the books and then I never get around to watching the movie or the show. And yeah, so I really enjoyed the movie and I've heard such rave reviews, obviously, about Andy Weir's writing and The Martian is clearly one of his more famous works. And I'm also really excited about reading this because my fiance was saying his dad actually really likes this book. So I'm excited for that like personal recommendation. So now I have a physical copy. And by the way, I have seen The Martian in plenty of Goodwills. I just didn't want to buy a copy with Matt Damon's face on it. So I was excited to find a copy. It was just like a normal <laughs> book. I don't like buying books with like the movie cover on it. I will if, you know, I'm, I'm dying to, but like I knew I was going to run into another copy of The Martian, so I finally did and I got like a nice paperback copy. So the next book I picked up is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I've seen this everywhere and curiosity just got the best of me. I know this is a contemporary romance and a lot of the other booktubers that I watch love this book. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't care for romance books. I'm not big on them. Most of the time they're too cliche or too like unrealistic for me to really get into. I mean, this is coming from the girl who likes nonfiction books. I like horror, I like thrillers. So books like this are kind of like the opposite of all that I feel like, but you know what? I'm gonna try again because something I noticed in my videos, especially my end of year wrap up, some of you guys were saying I need to step outside of my comfort zone a little bit. So this is me in an attempt to step outside my comfort zone. So maybe I'll read this in February since you know it's the month of romance and I've got some other videos planned for that type of reading in February. So this came at a good time. It's very popular, seems to be well liked. So I felt like this was a good, you know, I'm giving it a good shot here, I feel like. And this one was $2.99 as well as, by the way, I don't know if I said this, The Martian was $2.99. This next book I'm really excited about. I didn't know I needed this book in my life until I saw the pretty cover and looked it up on Goodreads because I always have my phone out. Obviously I'm filming, <laughs> but I'm also looking books up on Goodreads if I see like a title that looks familiar or it's a pretty book or it's just something about it intriguing. This was one of those and I am so, this actually might be one of the next books that I read. And it is From Here to Eternity, Traveling the World to Find the Good Death by Caitlin Doty. This is a book, like I said, I didn't know I needed. So I really enjoy like Mary Roach books. I read her Stiff, which is like The Mysterious Life of Cadavers or something like that, but it's involving basically like post-mortem, cadavers, what happens to bodies after you die, how it's used in like the scientific realm or like testing realm. So this is kind of, at least it reminds me of it, but it's more about like how different cultures process the idea of death and some of the ceremonies around that idea and when people die in their lives. So, you know, I feel like this is something that would be really interesting right up my book, kind of a cop, but also very enlightening. And I'm always excited to read about other cultures because I just think it's so fascinating. The cover was beautiful, which is what caught my attention on the bookshop. And then this one was $3.99 because it is a hardback, but I'm so excited about this. I also saw it was like on some people that I follow on their like one to read TBRs. So I was like, oh, this must be a good one. And then I read the synopsis and I was like, mm-hmm, right up my alley. So I'm really excited about this one. Okay, you guys might have seen in some of the footage that I pulled this off the shelf and was like, I'm gonna buy it. There's no way I'm not gonna walk out of this Goodwill without this book. And it is Big Little Lies by Leanne Morarity. Mor Morarity? And it said it was a signed copy. So then when I looked in the book, I thought, okay, maybe it was like a printed sign. No. Actually like an ink signed book from the author. So I just thought it was really cool. And Big Little Lies is also a book that I've been wanting to read. I know there's a very, very popular show with like Nicole Kidman. I think Reese, is Reese Witherspoon in that one? And I think um, Shailene Woodley, I think those are the three. Watch, I get all those people wrong. In my mind, they're who is in the show. But 
let's face it, I'll probably never get around to watching it, my best bet of knowing what that show is about is reading the book. So I picked up the book, and this was another one of those books that I feel like I've seen the like show copy of a lot. I just, like I said, I don't like... I just don't like the aesthetics, like that's where I get a little snobby with books. I don't like the aesthetics of like the people on my books. <laughs> so I was just excited about this and I think it's cool to actually have like an author signed book. I think this is like the only book I have that is signed by the author. So I paid $3.99 for this and I thought that was a good deal, obviously. <laughs> now the last two books are both from Eric Larson. I got Thunderstruck as well as Dead Wake, The Last Crossing of the Lusitania. and. I got these because, like I mentioned earlier, I like nonfiction books. They're some of my favorite genre, and I have, what is it, something in Devil in the White City. I have that actually, I bought it from another Goodwill, so it's on my bookshelf waiting for me to read it. And I just saw these two books, and I just kind of have, you know, you have a feeling that you'll like someone's books, and these are also, you know, Eric Larson is a pretty popular author, and pretty popular with his nonfiction writing obviously so I just grabbed them because if you see books at Goodwill and you think there's potential for you to want to read them in the future or you like an author you're interested in this is like the best way to go because you're saving money and recycling so I like I said got Thunderstruck which I believe is like a murder murder book book about murder a true story of love and murder and the end of the world's great hush I have no idea what that means. And then I also picked up this book, Dead Wake, and this is obviously by Lusitania. And there was actually two copies of this in my Goodwill, so I had the luxury of picking out which copy looked nicer. This this one's basically pristine. Like if this was red, it was probably only red once. And you know, I know the basic history behind the Lusitania. I know it was like a British liner ship during World War One that got taken down by U-boats. I don't know the full story, so I guess I will find out in this. By the way, this book, Thunderstruck, was $3.99, but it was a yellow sticker, so it was a dollar off. So I actually paid $2.99 for this hardback, and then this guy was $3.99. So those are the books that I picked up from Goodwill. I always love going thrift book shopping where I can just look at the different books and a lot of times like I find books that are pretty recent or newer and books that I see some of my favorite booktubers talking about or I see floating around on Goodreads a ton. I hope you guys like this video. I haven't done this style of video in a while and I'm hoping to do a lot more just thrift shopping in general because I really like thrift shopping and garage sales and hunting for stuff. I just think it's really cool and exciting. So yeah, definitely subscribe for more content like this. Let me know if you guys have read any of these books or if you have any book recommendations for me, as well as follow my Goodreads because I'm pretty up to date on what I'm currently reading, books I've read, what I want to read, as well as my Instagram. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!